Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we will see how we can create this type of dynamic grid inside of After Effects. Or you can call it Retro Style Grid. You can use this cool technique to make some awesome looking grid background. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Now create a solid layer. But make the height and width value to 4000. Then go to effects and presets and search for grid. Apply it on the layer. Make the layer 3D layer. Press R to open rotation. And change the X axis value to minus 82 degree. Just like this. Also change the position something like this. Now change the size from to width slider. And increase the width value to a high value. Almost 425. Now, on the first frame, add a keyframe on anchor. Then go forward to end of the timeline, and change the value to a high value. After that, animation should look like this. Nice. Now create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for mirror. Apply it to the adjustment layer. Then change the reflection angle to minus 90 degree. You can make different kind of designs just by changing rotation and position property. So play with these settings, and try to make something that looks good to you. Also, you can play with the width value. This looks good to me. Let's change the border value to 9. This portion looks too sharp right now. So, we need to blend this portion with the background. For doing this, let's create a solid layer. Place it on the top. Take the rectangle tool, and create a mask like this. Align the shape to the center. Select the mask, and press F to open feather. Increase the feather value a little bit. Add fill effect to change the color. Change its color to black, so it matches with the background. Then increase the feather value according to your need. Now this looks good to me.
Let's create another adjustment layer. Search for 4 color gradient effect and apply it to the layer. Place it under the blur layer so it does not affect that layer. Now change the colors you like. Try to use bright colors, it will look better with this. Now go to effects and presets, and search for glow effect. Apply it on the layer. Change the glow radius to 2. Glow threshold value to 100%. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this effect. Change the glow radius to 60%. and glow intensity value to 0.3. These values may be different for you. So, play with the glow settings to get the desired results. This looks good to me. Let's create another solid layer with a white background color. Make it to comp size. Place the layer on the top. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Star Brust. Apply it on the layer. Change the size value 20. And speed 0.30. And our animation is done. Place a text on the middle, and it's ready for use. So this is all for today. Hope you guys liked the video. I will catch you guys on the next week with a brand new video. Till then have fun, and keep learning.